the coolest things about creating this part specifically in the musical is that we played a lot with like okay where is cherry going to come in where is cherry going to be a part of pony boy's life because the thing about cherry and pony boy's relationship is that in the book it's a very little tiny amount right and then he's always kind of like she's always looming in pony boy's head somewhere like in the church scene and then when you meet randy a little bit later like he she's always a part of his subconscious so to be able to test in this world in its reality where can cherry show up and it be realistic was really cool like at the end of the play um there are two times that i show up in our show that he doesn't act, like she doesn't actually show up in the book one of which is in the hospital scene and the other one is at the very end where i go to the curtis brothers house and that was really fun to question like okay why would how would she know where he lived? Like, how did she get there? How did, did she walk? Did she have her mom drive her? Like, what were the reasons and what were the pieces that led her to those parts? So yes, I had a lot of fun filling in those blanks and making it true so that it was still aligned with who Cherry was from the book. Definitely be a Sabrina Carpenter fan. She would be a huge chaperone fan, I think. Like, in a, in a same, in the similar vein as Miley. Like, in a, like, in her car by herself like it wouldn't be the thing that she would play around everyone else but it would be the thing that she feels like the most connected and seen um listening to yeah i could definitely recall a couple of times like in my high school career like very similar to cherry like i grew up in a small town in mississippi and there are um a lot of like social norms that i don't necessarily like subscribe to personally and there were a lot of times in my life that i remember deciding if it was a battle to be fought or if it was just something that i had to survive through to get to the other side like standing up for things that i believe that are true like it's i it's my body i can wear what i want you don't get to judge and tell me what to wear or not to wear at a social function especially when it is not school related um, so that's one that comes to mind for me <laughs> I think the thing that's really cool about doing um, a musical especially one that is so the play part is so important like Danya is a play director and Adam Rapp is a play writer but they both decided to do a musical so a lot of the text is so delicious and very easy to lean on and allow it to grow and have its own meaning and so any I think any actor would say that great writing is the way that things stay fresh because you will always be able to dig and find more and more in the text and we are very grateful to also have a book to constantly go back to and recomb and be like oh man man, I didn't see that before. That's, that's cool. Now I can allow that to be influential into my play. It's just such great writing. It's very easy to go on the ride of the play every night. And I know that it's been a hundred shows, but it doesn't feel that not, not to me, not yet. I think the biggest advice that I would give myself is like, trust yourself and trust the process. Because the thing about growing up is that it's hard and it sucks. And that's a lot of what this play is about. Like Pony Boy in the very beginning, he's like, when I get to the end, tell me what you would do. Because honestly, you wouldn't do any, there is no right answer in this play. There is no, not that there's no happy ending, but it's like life's tough and it's hard and it's harder on other people depending on their socioeconomic status and their class status. And like, we all need to give ourselves grace because the, wor the world probably won't, you know? So trust in yourself and trust the process. Keep surrounding yourself with the people who are gonna love on you and who are gonna lift you up and you will find your place. Finding the trust that Cherry will still be who she is no matter what. The, the, the lyrics, the text will always be the same and so you can rely on that. And so there's something, there's, so, there's some beauty in the fold of like trusting that she will always see Pony Boy no matter what. That she will always find that place to be empathetic and that place to care and that place to have grace. Um, and I think that that's something that when it comes to our real lives, like being a little stressed out or having my own stuff going on makes me have shorter tempers for the people around me sometimes, maybe, you know? Um, so I learned from her in the way that like, even when things are either high end stress or low end stress, it's always important to just have some grace. That um, the trains are not forgiving on the weekend even though you work on the weekend.
I feel like a really great example is actually at the very beginning of the show when like we're kind of being introduced as socias. We all come to the top of this platform and um, Pony Boy's talking about us, discussing like why we're called that. Okay. And the rest of us are just like, ah, what did you guys have for lunch? Was it good? How are you doing? Oh, you look so cute today. I love your outfit. Like we're definitely in the world of the play, but we are having full on regular people conversations. And um, Melody and I love to have a little giggle there as well. I actually just had someone ask me this question the other day and I don't know why I was so quick to be like it's a lychee a lychee I don't know why something about like <laughs> okay <laughs> hear me out I'm a Libra with a Scorpio rising okay. and my whole life I thought I was a Scorpio because I'm born on the cusp I'm on October 23rd it's my birthday and it wasn't until like three years ago that I actually learned that, that I'm a Libra and like so much stuff made more sense to me like why I don't like conflict and why I why I like things to be fair in a workplace like I d it just like made so much more sense to who I was not that I not that I care too much about zodiac signs, but I was like, I don't feel like a Scorpio and everyone doesn't like Scorpios. But so something about the like outside hard pointy exterior of the fruit and then like getting under underneath to the like beautiful pink, something about that feels true to me. Little kind of hard, maybe you think I'm not so nice, hard exterior Scorpio, but really I'm just a sweet Libra on the inside. No, great answer. <laughs> and that's my answer.